These are the first of what are expected to be a number of lawsuits challenging the legality of the state's assault weapons ban. Among those named in the suits as defendants, Governor J.B. Pritzker, as well as State Police Director Brendan Kelly. Racks of assault weapons on the shelves of gun shops, still on display, but not for sale. The state ban makes it illegal to sell them or own them without proper licensing, at least for now. A number of lawsuits aimed to strike down the law passed last week by the Illinois General Assembly. Much of the uh, actual statute is so vague and ambiguous that not even lay people, but Probably not many experts can really agree on what it purports to outlaw. Attorney Thomas Mag filed what he believes is the first challenge to the assault weapons ban on Friday. Attorney Thomas DeVore has since filed another suit today, challenging the constitutionality of the law. And other groups planning to file within the next week. The feeling is that, that here is another piece of gun legislation authored and passed by people who simply don't know what they're talking about. Meantime, a number of county sheriffs around the state have publicly vowed not to enforce the new law, prompting an open letter signed by 16 state legislators criticizing DuPage County Sheriff Jim Mendrick. They cannot pick and choose which laws they enforce. They must enforce them all. I don't think we're picking and choosing. I think it's a matter of how we're interpreting it. I don't think we're interpreting this the same way. According to downstate attorney Tom DeVore, who filed one of the lawsuits, a judge in Effingham County has scheduled an emergency hearing for tomorrow to consider a temporary restraining order. John Garcia, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.